Hello YouTube people, today I'm going to show you how to inspect your tensioners and belts so that way you can find out if you need to replace them or not so let's get started as you can see here I have a fan hub for Series 60 engine right we have a tensioner because this fan hub comes with the mount to install the tensioner on it and we are replacing this one because it's making like a little bit grinding noise but it's variable variable not noticeable so that's what it is the same way the same goes for the tensioner it's making noise but it's just tiny noise it's not like you can really hear it so that's the reason we're replacing it but there's other things you can spot in your fan hub if you need to replace it okay for example you can check here can you see here on the back of the fan hub if this part comes off and you can see the bearings right it means your fan hub is gone you have to replace it okay as you can notice this one has no fan clutch and we are replacing it mainly because the fan clutch is uh, got completely loose it doesn't it didn't hold anymore so if you can spot things like that for example if you turn off the ignition and you still can move the fan clutch all right because the fan clutch works with air right every time you turn off the ignition the fan clutch should not move okay so if you are able to move the fan clutch it means the fan clutch is gone and might be one of the reasons why your truck is overheating right so you should inspect that first right those are simple steps you can do it yourself so you can find out if the fan clutch is the main issue in your truck so next we have the fan the fan belts this is a fan belt that belongs to this one this fan hub and you can see this fan belt has no cracks right but as you can see it looks like a reddish color so it might be making noise so if that's the case right if your truck is making noise usually like a like a squeaky noise it usually are the bells the problem right usually but even if you remove the bells for that reason you should inspect the idle pulleys fan hub and accessory belt and accessory tensioners okay this one for example you can see there's cracks in it, okay so this one needs to be replaced this one belongs to the same truck but this is the accessory belt all right and this is for series 60 okay next we have for volvos right guys guys who has volvos right these tensioners right you have to replace all of them at the same time do not change those the accessory accessory uh tensioner and just fan tensioners no change it all at the same time right that's better okay because if you had to take out the accessory tensioner you had to remove the fan the fan belt to, in order to remove the tensioner the tensioner belt okay and as you can see this one it looks really rusty and it's already broken because this one this tensioner right it's been long it's been in a long time services sometimes we change it with even more than four five hundred thousand miles and as you can see here right all this dust is from the is for the grinding with the movement they do like this right when the when the engine is idling it move like this and that's the reason why this one start getting rusty okay so if you can spot like this your tensioner it means you need to be you need to be replacing like for example you see this it means this tensioner is no good anymore right these two here are the fan tensioners okay these fan tensioners usually this one doesn't go bad that that easily but this one right this is the outer tensioner right this one goes bad and they start making like a grinding noise for example if you are hearing that your truck is making a grinding noise it means you have to check it out the tensioners not the belts the tensioners all right 
Sometimes the squeaky noise is because the bells are getting water on it or coolant or even oil on it. So that's the way you can spot something wrong with the tension. This is really important because if the fan clutch is, uh, for example, breaks over the road and you don't notice anything because sometimes that happens, like, for example, the other, the other, this fan hub in here, this fan clutch, they were changing it. The guy were saying, oh, my truck is overheating, but it might be a thermostat. And he didn't even check the fan clutch, right? So that's uh, easy for you guys to check and maybe so I'll make me save you a couple bucks, okay? And this one in here is for DD15, so DD13, so DD16 engines. It applies to all of them. And on these ones, as far as I can see, especially this one is the one that gives troubles because it starts jumping a lot. When the, especially when the engine is idling, it starts jumping and jumping and it starts hitting, it starts pulling out the belt slowly, like this way, like this. Like jumping and here in this way. These ones, the idle pull it, they never goes bad, but they're recommended to change it if you want. So, uh, it's up to you, but these ones, I think you can replace it mm, every maybe 500,000 miles, but I think it will be too much, all right? But this one, oh, this one we had, this one I have seen, they break around here, no, especially this part in here. Yeah, they break around here, and I don't know what's going on with these uh, uh, springs, especially on this side, that eventually they start getting really hard and they don't move anymore. They don't, they don't do their job properly. And that's the reason why the boss comes out from here. Let me show you from this side. They start jumping like this and they come out, okay? So this is one of the easiest way to check your tensioner and your belts. I know my tensioners are all out, are not in the truck, but for you as a driver, you should be able to hear a noise or grinding noise. So if that's the case, pay, pay attention or tell your technician to check it properly. Or, or if you have like a, for example, um, uh, let me see, you see this hole in here? If you have like a, half inch ratchet with a 3A inches half inch extension. You can just put it here and you can check it yourself. And that way you will find out if the tensioner is still working properly or not. The outer part of the tensioner never goes bad. It's mainly the accessory part because this is the fan and this is for the accessory, okay? So mainly this one is the one that goes, this one is the one that goes bad, sorry. And this one it never fails. I have seen it. The fan, the fan belt goes bad. But accessory belt has seen it so many times now. It might be your case, but as always, I say every time you remove your belts, you should try to at least move it like this in the truck. And you, if you pay attention in a silent place, you will be able to hear if there, if there, there is any noise. It means you have to replace it soon. All right, as, as, as soon as you can, because this is really important. Because if the accessory bill breaks, right, your alternator might not charge, your truck may overheat because the wire pump is not working, all right, and it might be problems for the fan hub because if the, if the accessory bill breaks, it might go into the fan hub, it's gonna start taking all the debris in there, okay. So that's all I have for you guys today. Thank you for watching and I'm sorry for the noise because today is raining on my on the shop. And if you have any questions about the pensioners or bells, please let me know in the comment section down below. Thank you and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.